Sad news this afternoon, Wednesday, it was announced Tina Turner passed away at the age of 83 years old at her home in Switzerland. She had been living in Switzerland for about 30 years and was officially a Swiss uh, citizen for the past 10 years. Swiss miss, you might say. The Swiss miss. (laughs) Uh, The queen of rock and roll, a huge influence on every hard dancing hard singing female solo act that has come after her uh she was huge in the 60s 70s kind of had tons of personal stuff that she went through in the 70s with her abusive husband ike turner and then she reclaimed her power and came back to fame in the 80s uh the song what's love got to do with it i think maybe like 1984 ish uh made her the oldest female solo artist with a number one hit song at that point wow wow record which since has been broken by Cher but still huge in the world of rock and roll soul live music especially Tina Turner uh, R.I.P. definitely yeah, uh, big uh, in my record collecting uh, when I first discovered uh, Tina Turner records uh, blew my mind really loved it um, Stones give me shelter footage is amazing um, check out get your yaya's expanded the set is amazing um, I really love everything she did and then um the Phil Spector album, uh, River Deep Mountain High, which is insanity. It's um, Soul I Can Tina review done through the Phil Spector lens um, in the classic song, River Deep Mountain High. Um, yeah, it's just those are some things I love. Uh, great artists, huge impact, and, um, you know, sad, sad loss. Yeah, she was another one of those that was kind of like we talked about it earlier, uh, like how Joe Cocker would take songs and kind of like sure. zhuzh them up and kind yeah, of beat the yeah. crap out of them. She was another one that did that stuff too. Uh, likewise with Luke, I had res- I I bought I found you know like for really cheap in like a dollar bin or something like that, like an Ike and Tina uh, compilation or something mm-hmm. like that, and it had some live cuts on it. And uh, yeah, same thing. Um, I think she did get get back. I think they did a version of that, yep. the version of Proud Mary, obviously, uh, live version, and uh, yeah, just completely blew me away. It was one of those things where I felt like I was like, oh my god, I had no idea, you know. And then because I, you know, what's love got to do with it? That's a song that I always knew of, but I didn't realize how far back uh, she went, you know. So yeah. it was it was pretty, uh, yeah, it was pretty amazing. So and if, and if you want to check out two things, that I think show the uh, power of her as an artist and as a whole career. Check out the Ed Sullivan Show performance of Proud Mary. I think it was 1970. And then watch the performance she did of that song in 2009 when she was 70 years old. Pretty incredible. Yeah. Yeah. She will be missed.